the scholars at Urban Dictionary consider a boomer shooter a first-person shooter video game made in the 1990s or such a game released since then that is characterized by the same conventions of the time. So, I grew up during the days of Doom and Doom 2 and Quake and all that fun stuff, Shadow Warrior and Duke Nukem 3D. So, boomer shooters are near and dear to my heart. And in this episode, the reboot episode of West vs. Backlog, we will be digging into what I consider my favorite in the whole boomer shooter pantheon. And I've played a lot of them. Lord knows, my wallet knows that I've played a lot of them. And we're going to be looking at my favorite, which is called Proteus. All right, guys, here we are. This is Proteus. I wanted to keep this screen up first, though. Uh, very important. If you have any sort of photosensitivity, if you get migraines, if you have uh, epilepsy, anything like that, please do not watch this episode. This game gets pretty wild with the colors and the flashing and stuff like that. So I do appreciate your support, <laughs> but uh, please don't cause yourself any harm on, on my behalf, especially. But, uh, but yeah, I do want to keep this warning up. Just know this is a real warning. I know video games have it and a lot of people skip them. This one's legit. So without further ado, let's dig into this. Um, so this is Proteus. This, I want to say, started early access in 2020, uh, later in the year, right around Christmas time, as when I remember hearing about it, because I have little alerts set up for all these like boomer shooter style things. And this one always looked pretty cool. I liked the way the graphics looked and stuff like that. Um, I think I bought it in the middle of 2021. That's whenever they were starting to really crank out some updates. And then I want to say the official launch of 1.0 came out in September of 2022. So actually fairly recently. Uh, but this game is outstanding. So we're going to dig around just a few levels, probably about three levels. We're going to play through the first level. Um, I've beaten the campaign. I just want to show you kind of a variety of different deals. I have, I think, two levels I know I want to show you, and then one of them will just pick a random one, I guess. So um, we're going to go ahead and start, and you're going to see right up front here, you got a level editor, there's multiplayer community workshop, so you can make your own levels, I mean, with a level editor, of course, but with the ProNet offering that they have, uh, you can actually do like, they, they have map competitions, which really brings me back. I used to do mapping for like Quake 2 and Quake 3 Arena way back in the day. This is like pre-graduating high school back in the day. So it always put a big smile on my face to know that they're doing this, like mapping competitions and stuff. Really, really cool. It's built in Unity, so they used a modified Unity engine. Really interesting. Um, but let's go to the campaign, Kingdom Between. Um, we're gonna continue, and yeah, so I have completed the campaign, but you'll see here it says 65% done. So I think what that is, is I still have a whole bunch of collectibles and like I have to unlock more weapons and that type of thing. So I've beaten the campaign, but it's uh, there's a lot to this game. And on the surface, it may not seem like it. And that's the thing about this whole genre really is like on the surface, you think, oh, you're going to shoot some stuff. You get a key card. You maybe find a secret here or there, and then you're done. And while that's true, these games live and die by how well the guns feel, how cool are the level designs, and how just can it capture that 10 seconds of fun on repeat. You know what I mean? Um, so we're just going to play through the first level, and even after replaying it multiple times, I still don't have all of the hidden stuff. I still don't have all the stuff unlocked. There's like uh, 922 is my best time, but I need to get, I want to say 100% kills. I need to find all the secrets. I've already not died. And I think I've gotten 100% accuracy or something. It's one of these things. But you can see rankings and stuff like that for every single level in the game. So this is very much kind of a speed, um, I, I guess like a speedrunner's ideal thing so this is Proteus uh, check this out this is <laughs> you can see the little shotgun here 
Uh, my favorite shotgun is actually this one. So let's go through the... I don't have all of the uh, weapons right now, but once I kind of dig in uh, to the level, I should be able to unlock all of them, I think, but one. But uh, yeah, you got your fisticuffs. Hoo, hoo. Uh, you got your um, awesome kind of meaty pistol. The sound effects in this are great. Um, you have your guns in each click, so right click, um, does right gun, left click, does that one, so you can, you can probably hear the clicking as well. My mic is right next to my, <laughs> my, um, uh, my mouse, so, um, let's see, we got our Gatling gun, which you can hold down the fire button, and it starts whenever it primes up, or you can hold down the right mouse button and prime it while you're walking, which is really cool. Um, this is my favorite gun in the game. In fact, this is my favorite gun in any boomer shooter that has come out. Any of the newer wave retro shooters. This is the best shotgun out of all of them. There's a super shotgun, does four shells at a time. It's fine, but I don't think it's much stronger, really, than this one is. But this uses up your ammo faster. You see what I mean? So if you look at the bottom right, you see how many shells I can have in this one, and it shoots one at a time. However, each shot does four. So, like, you're reloading a lot more, and you're just going through ammo. You're kind of wasting it, in my opinion. But that's all the weapons I have right now. But as we come out here, another quick thing I want to show you, and I promise I, want to, uh, I will get to the gameplay, trust me. Check out these textures. I love this texture look because it reminds me of PlayStation 1 the really nice pixelated but like a lot of detail your brain fills in the details because you're going fast I mean it, you can kind of tell what the stuff is the geometry and all this stuff even and you look at the smoke that's not the video encoding that's actually pixelated smoke that you're seeing which is pretty cool but I will say this is going to put YouTube's encoding through the through the races. So, I mean, we're recording at a really high bit rate right now, probably 80 megs a second. Um, so this is probably going to be close to a 500 gig video file. But we'll see how well YouTube crunches it. But let's get shooting. And another thing I want to bring up. The soundtrack in this game is outstanding. It's Andrew Holsholt. I believe that's how you... I don't know. I'm an idiot when it comes to pronouncing names. Or pronouncing anything, really. So, uh, But you'll know that name if you're a big fan of like first-person shooters, contemporary stuff. Because he is the composer that um, worked on uh, Doom Eternal. And... Uh, I want to say like a whole bunch of stuff. All of the like Dusk and um, Amid Evil and Ultra Kill and stuff like that. So really chuggy riffs. Um, just awesome. Yeah, and I've played through this level quite a bit. I will say a little inside baseball. It's been five years since I've recorded one of these episodes. This is my third time recording this because of recording issues. <laughs> so it's one of those like you live and you learn type things. But I love playing this game so much. It's not really that big a deal. Like even though I completed the campaign, I'm still going to try to 100% everything so far. But like look at this lighting, man. I love this lighting. This just screams you know, Quake 2 to me. And a little bit later, a level starts screaming Quake 3 quite a bit. But, like, this is just awesome. I can't get enough of it, man. Oh, yes. Another thing. Um, you do get things like double jumps. You get unlocks for dash boosts. You get um, weapon upgrades and stuff. After this level, we'll go to the shop. So you can see, but like over here, you see that if we go like there's secret kind of hidden areas, 
there's a lot of this type of stuff in the game, which I love because it makes you want to play through the levels again, you know. Back out, complaining. So you'll see we just activated a Nexus point. Nexus point are kind of mid level checkpoints. And I really like this system, but if you read a lot of the reviews, this is kind of a hit or miss thing because there's no real penalty to dying. You do lose some of your points. You'll see at the end of the level that you get graded or whatever, but really what happens if I end up dying, I will just respawn at the latest nexus point that I unlock and all of the enemies that I have killed in the level stay dead. So it's not like it restarts you, you know, completely from the beginning or whatever. I don't know if that changes on higher difficulties. To be totally fair, I am playing this on easy. Um, I am very much, I will play every game I own on easy and I will do it proudly because I do not care. <laughs> I do not care or get my self-worth from saying I beat a difficult video game. Like, I don't, I have other things to do. Um... But even on easy, this game gets kind of intense later on. We'll go to some later levels, and it gets wild. This is very much an introduction level. Um, yeah, it gets <laughs> it gets pretty wild. Oh wait, I need to just go this way, don't I? Oh yeah, 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 down here. Boom. There we go. Boom. I have to get. The uh, red key. Red key card. Hey, bud. Oh, check this out. The best feeling in the world. Oh, you gotta love it, dude. Like, come on now. Exploding barrel, and look at all the ghibli. That's just the best. It's the best. There's nothing better. It's the best. I don't know what to tell you. You know, it just it just works for me. That is very much, like I said, depending on how well the um, the guns feel. Yeah, it makes or breaks games like this, and this one has it in spades, man. It's awesome. So beforehand, like, I would walk across that plank right there. So let's see if I can make this jump just to... Got him. But that's what's also nice about this. You know how I can do that big jump and leap and dash and stuff. But before I unlock any of that, I can still get across there by going across the plank. So that's what I mean by this level design is super good. Um... They understand what you probably want to do, and they'll give you a way to do it, usually. Not every time, but usually. Got that rune. And look how the... <laughs> The, the gunk is just all up on the gun and everything, too. It's hilarious. I'll show you the super shotgun. Stuff explodes real nice. 
but you'll see that still takes two shots from the super shotgun which it did from the standard shotgun but I'm just melting through ammo more so it's like it's the give and the take right these some stuff up here. Let's do that. I'll show off all the all the weapons. These are easy enough levels that you don't have to be super picky about it. I thought there was a guy through there. May have already got him. Oh, there he is. Three shots, three kills, you can't ask for better out of a shot. You know, it just works. red key card and I think this level is about to come to an end. Pretty sure. So I think that's the end of this one. Yeah, cool. See, do you see the nice like melted uh, loading screen effect too from Doom? So I didn't go for any secrets this time. 94% kills, okay. Need to play this one and really like examine and stuff when I'm not on kind of a time crunch. Um, in every single map, um, whether the developers made it or... Uh, so in the campaign, it's all developer-made maps, but then if you go and you play maps from the user community, uh, you can rate those as well. So um, I always rate them good because I don't think there's a bad map on this game. I have yet to even dig into the community stuff. So, so yeah, we have that. Um, check out this nice... <laughs> um, <laughs> This nice Mar Super Mario World style map. So there's a lot of stuff here. Let me go to the shop. I want to show you guys this. Is this the... I want to say there's multiple like... Oh yeah, each world has their own... The shop still carries the same products no matter what shop you go to, through what zone, but they each have their own look 
So while we're here, I'll show you the the shops. I already have my double jump. I already have my dash boost. But you'll see a bandolier probably to hold more of every type of ammo. So I need 25 of the gold bars. I only have 19 of them. But I've already unlocked, you know, super shotgun. I've unlocked plasma rifle. Oh, so I did pick that up. Okay, cool. I don't know what the mammoth is. I'm excited about that. It sounds like, I bet that's like a BFG, if I were to guess. Um, auto shotgun. Oh, I need one more. Okay. But here's the thing. I don't even know if the auto shotgun will be as good as the one I'm holding. I just love the feel of this gun. And then Swarmer. I'm excited about that one too. So that's all this. Uh, but yeah, like this game just oozes style. I really like the vibe that each place has. Let me go to my favorite shop. Because I want to show you guys, like, oh, it's just so nice. Looks so good. Okay, we got those. Portal, yes. So I don't want to get, give away too much of like the, uh, we'll do space station. We'll end it on because that's a great, maybe the highlight of the game, maybe, but I'll show you my favorite. So check out this shop. You see how it's all snowy on the, uh, world map. Check this out. It looks so good. See the textures. The fact that there's like the god rays of light coming through. Oh, just the art direction in this game is nuts, man. I love it. It makes me want to relearn like level building. And I used to do it way back in the day. I remember downloading, what was it? Um, I think I used Quake 3 Radiant, but there was a better one called like GTK Radiant. And I would map build and they were all terrible and they really didn't do anything, but I built it and then I would walk around and be like, yeah, look at this cool thing I made. So maybe I need to do some level building in this just to scratch that itch a little bit. So yeah, but see, Bandolier, 19 out of 25. So all of the, the items in the shop are the same. But I think it's a great little touch that they've changed the, the, the look depending on the world that you're in. This is so cool. All right. But the reason why we came to the ice world is probably my favorite... Um, one of my favorite levels is called Frost. Proteus Invasion begins. This research facility holds the key to the Chaos Dimension Portal. I'm just a big fan of snow levels. You're going to find that out in West vs. Backlog real quick. If a game has a good snow level, I'm in. You know. And this is a later level. This is probably the latest level we're going to see in the game. Because there's still some stuff that's surprising after this. So I don't want to give away everything. going to notice some of these enemies are shooting red some of them are shooting blue there is a war happening between two factions and you're kind of caught in the middle oh god oh these dudes are mean they mean business i need to make it to the uh oh I 
to make it to the nexus point. Okay. Whew. I need to make it to the nexus point. That way I can like reload if push comes to shove, you know? But yeah, even on easy, this game will whoop your butt if you're not ready. So, before we get too much... Oh, jeez. What the... Okay. Alright. Before we get too far um, more into it, check out this map. So, this map is very much like a Metroid Prime Doom reboot map. To where it's all 3D. God, that's so cool. And, like, it's funny. This type of stuff... This look reminds me of Metal Gear Solid when you first get to Shadow Moses Island. But I love how they built this. Like, that's the thing. There's just so much cool stuff in this game. And it all comes together and it works. I just got rocked. Okay. Oh, hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. So what you'll notice in the level, and it's not super apparent, but if you see these little crosses right here, you shoot them. I want to say yes so now that uh, unlocked this so in every level there's a lot of stuff like that to where you can do some manipulation of the world around you and it changes your secrets and things like that really cool so the reason why this is one of my favorite levels in the game is coming up momentarily here we go so one I just think that looks awesome just the dripping low poly ice and stuff like really cool but let me show you nice thing about this game once you get into a groove you can really start hauling like if you see them fighting amongst each other super hell bad boy right here so let me get out this grenade launcher oh man 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 so the nice thing about this grenade launcher I know I just ran out of ammo but um it reminds me of the grenade launcher in Goldeneye, which is 
happens to be one of my favorites in all of video games. Because the way you can like lob the grenades, it just feels great. Not that. Okay. So if we little lob, just do that. Yes. I should have done it down the hallway with everybody, but. So I already had this, but I wanted to collect it so you can see what this uh, looks like. And also there's like a sniper rifle, but there's this nice melty gun to take care of all of that ice. So now you kind of backtrack through here and even hit enemies with it. Very cool. Through here, so like perfect example. Let me bring this out. There we go. So I already got everything where the secrets were, but every level has these kind of secrets unlocked locations. Very fun to explore around. The goat shotgun right here. Say that, I'm gonna get walloped. <laughs> Look at all this. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh my god. They took out all the other guys there. And see, now you can see under the ice there is different uh, ammo. out that way it'll reload and then melt that I think there's one over here oh we got that one oh it might be in the next room oh hey bud How many 
shots is this guy gonna take? There we go. Beautiful. Oh, nice plasma gun here. And what's really cool, you see this tracking line? I can shoot around corners. And it will track until it loses the, uh, the traction on it, which is pretty cool. Oh boy. I gotta get me some... Oh. Gotta get me some life. Nexus point. Oh, yeah. So we're about to have us a fight right here. So let me grab all of this. Don't need that one, but I do need. rocket launcher. Here we go. guys are mean. Oh my god. This whole room is mean. <laughs> okay, so I did die, but check this out. Continue from Nexus Point. Boom, I'm right back in the room. Can you imagine being the bad guys thinking you did such a good job? I got him. I got him, boss. And then he respawns with... Not full ammo, but like more ammo than he had. I think we're good. Yeah. Is that, is that it? I think so. Yes. Okay. So there we go. Good level. Six. Okay. All right, and we'll do one more level, and that'll get us to about the 45, 50 minute mark, which is perfect. So let's go back. Wait, did we? No, I still have 19. Okay. Um, I was like, did we get another deal so we can get an unlock? But no. So which was it? Yes, space station. This very much reminded me of Doom 3, which is why I liked it. Because I liked Doom 3 when it came out. It was different, and I was blown away with the graphics, but yeah, this one definitely reminds me of Doom 3. It's been a little bit since I played this level, so <laughs> bear with me. I could 
jump up there, but nope. Point active. Finishing ammo. The buddy. Risky. such a cool set piece man like now we're at the space station you know what I mean oh so cool back to my uh well let's actually rocket launcher rocket launcher rocket where's my shoddy let me get my shoddy out ah <laughs> yeah one good lob for the episode you know Oh god. So, snipers, you saw that laser? Snipers are the real deal in this game. They are not kidding around. They can two-shot you, even on easy. Hitting me so hard. You'll get this other dude. I wonder if I can get 100% kills in this one. I've probably already missed some people, but. Just laying. Look at this hallway. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Uh, absurd. But amazing. I guess I have to make that jump. Anything else? But like, look how cool that skybox looks. Really cool. Just a good looking game, you know? Auto map. Required. Very inopportune time to reload, but it is what it is. shot on me. Okay. So, I think we're doing okay. So you can let them fight amongst themselves. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they saw me. You guys just keep on keeping on, bro. Ooh. Yeah, those banshees right there, they are rude, to say the least. Let them sort that out. They can talk amongst themselves. Oh, hello. Why don't you come over here, ma'am? Oh, God. Not great. Not great. Um. Oh, rocket launcher. Duh. Do I have one? Yes. Yes. I have one. Got her. Cool. And Nexus Point. Check. Oh. oh, I thought that was her attack for a minute. Oh, so cool. <laughs> that guy didn't deserve that. The, <laughs> the, 
the huge uh Fire. Okay. I'm back here. I don't think I need to be back here. Where do I need to go? Maybe in there, in the, the little floating area? In that? And yeah, we found two orbs though, so good work team. Okay, so we're coming down. Trying to remember if I had this same bewilderment on my uh, first time I went through these. Do I have to, like, do those in a certain order? So this is the other thing about the kind of boomer shooter deal. I feel like there's something about this. Um, it's a very 90s game because it's not going to tell you really where to go. So we go up, right? That's where we came from. Maybe we do go back through here somewhere. Because maybe we unlock the door and then we go this way. Well, no. <laughs> hmm. I know it's something obvious too. It is something obvious, and I'm not seeing it. So, like an X to hit one of those uh, targets to. that there before? I do not know. <laughs> but anyway, bam. Nexus point unlocked. 
Got some of this. Let's burn them. Let's burn these guys. Output. Boom. Okay. Evacuate area. Oh lord. Oh. Start from Nexus Point. So yeah, see, we restart right here. Good lord. <laughs> there has to be a portal somewhere, right? Come on now. Come on now. So awesome. And there you go. Space Station. Oh, 99%. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just play it again. Um, we'll rate this good. We'll go to continue. Let's go to the um, the shop, unlock something, and then we'll call it. The Swarmer is available for purchase. Well, you don't got to tell me twice. So let's go to my favorite shop. We'll go to my favorite one. I know the guy there. He's real nice. So we will run through here. So what do we buy? I mean, we gotta buy the Swarmer, right? We gotta buy it. Because we either get the Swarmer, the auto shotgun, but like we said, I, I'm gonna like the shotgun that we have the best, I think. Get all the ammo for that. The ban Oh, I don't even have enough for the Mandalier. Okay, makes that easy. We'll recoup on that. Let's get ourselves a Swarmer. Transaction approved. Big spender achievement. What in the hell is this? Well, we gotta see what it does. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, is this like a tracking thing? Oh, that's amazing. Probably make that last level easy to replay now. Because no spoilers, but that last level, good night. Yeah, this is amazing. All right. All right. So we got a new kick-ass gun. We're in my favorite shop. We'll call it. We'll call it right here. But this has been Proteus. 
I love this game. Um, I cannot wait for more content to come out for it. Uh, there is a very much a cliffhanger ending on this, so I'm excited to dig in and see what uh, Bounding Box Software has to offer. But yeah, this is Bounding Box Software, published by Humble Games. Uh, came out officially in 2022. I love this game, man. It's so much fun. I cannot think of a better game to reboot West vs. Backlog than this one. It's kind of that perfect blend of everything I like about games. It's fun. It's, you know, you can explore it. There's a feeling of achievement. You feel like a badass. Like, it's everything I like about games. So, yeah, that's my time. Um, I'm Wes, this has been Wes vs. Backlog, and we will see you again very, very soon. Peace.